Hello, everyone, and welcome to this week's edition of Purple Eagles Insider. I'm your host, Brittany D'Angelo, and today we caught up with a member of the baseball team. We have Junior Greg Cullen from the men's baseball team. Greg, welcome to Purple Eagles Insider. Thank you for having me. Well, thank you so much for coming on the show. So, how is your season going so far? Um, well, our season's going pretty well. Um, we're 4-2 and two in conference play right now. Uh, we took 2-3 or three from Fairfield uh, two weeks ago, and then we took 2-3 or three at our home opener against Iona this past weekend. So, hopefully we can keep it going. So in the six games that you guys have played so far, what improvements have you seen the team make already going into it? Um, I think we really just try to play pitch to pitch each game. Um, we don't we don't try to let eat, um, any game get too big or too low. We just kind of try to stay steady, um, just trust each other and trust our preparation. And along with that trust as well, you do have 10 newcomers on the team this year. How have they added to the team's progress? It's I, I try to put myself in their shoes. Like when I was a freshman, I... D1 baseball is really different to me, and I feel these guys just came right in. Um, they really studied the mental game in the fall, and they really prepared themselves to be successful this spring. And on top of that as well, you guys just had your home opener last weekend at the brand new and renovated Bobo Field. Well, how did it feel like to play in that new state-of-the-art stadium? And I kept saying to guys, like, is this a dream? Like, <laughs> compared to old Bobo, this is, this is something special. It was great to see uh, past alumni that I hadn't seen in years, so... It was really something special and something um, that will help Niagara for years to come. What do you think that new stadium is going to bring to the team? Do you think it's going to make you guys more enthusiastic to play? Or, like, how do you think that's going to work? Um, for sure. It's it's a place we can protect. Like, um, even in these midweek games that apparently, uh, oh, they're not less important, but I, they're not conference games. We're, we're still going to protect our turf, and we're still going to go out every single game. And I think the new field will increase our energy for sure. And on this opening weekend, you guys did win two, two out of three against Iona. Mm -hmm. How did that feel to do that, not only at the new stadium, but also opening weekend home? Um, well, it was, it was snowing for both games, so I, <laughs> we had to grind it out. Um, we lost the first one 10-2, to two, but we really came back in the second game and said, these, these are really important games. We're just going to grind out. It's going to be cold. We're just going to try to grind out and um, let the chips fall where they may. Now, you, Greg, have been grinding it out specifically very, very well. So you are leading the entire NCAA with a batting average and hits per game. How does that feel to know that you are leading the entire league? Uh, it, it feels, it, it does feel good. Um, you just, you can't let it get to your head. You really can't. Um, baseball is a game where you can go out one day, go five for five, but you can come back the next day and strike out five times. So you just have to take each game as it comes. So I'm just trying to stay consistent and help my team win. What has been your mental preparation before the game starts? Um, well, the guys know I like to have an energy drink during, like, throughout the game. So <laughs> I, I don't know. I just like to toss in the headphones a little bit, stretch out. Um, just try not to get too excited. Baseball is a game where you got to stay uh, pretty low key. So, yeah, yeah, absolutely. So you've been an integral part of this team since your freshman season. Now, talk about what led you to Niagara and what you've liked the most about playing for this um, team. The most. Uh, I just love everybody here in Niagara. Like the people are so down to earth and friendly. I feel at a big school, um, you're you're really just a number. Um, I know that's cliche, but uh, uh, I really feel like it's home here. And I'm from Rochester, New York, so uh, my parents can come to the game. Um, I have I have family and friends who like who do like to come to the game. So um, I just feel like it's home for me. I I wouldn't I wouldn't undo it if I could. So I really like it here. What are you most looking forward to throughout the rest of the season? Uh, throughout the rest of the season, uh, I, I feel we have some, some of the most talent on our roster in the MAC conference, so we're just going to take it each weekend and battle hard and let the chips fall where they may. <laughs> well, Greg, thank you so much for coming on Purple Eagles Insider. It was a pleasure to have you on the show. Good luck today as you play two games, and good luck the rest of the season. Thank you. Thanks for having me.